And welcome back. I'm just returning from my second trip down to the sand mine, picking up a huge load of sand to make more TNT. I have reached a point where I have actually gone through a total of 35 stacks of TNT, blasting away at the grass infested dirt and so on and frankly I have bombed that place into oblivion almost on the uh, I believe it's the northeastern border there is or at least there was a mountain there isn't any more I have literally bombed that thing into ridiculousness where there once was a mountain is now pretty much half a mountain where I bombed the daylights out of it exposed considerable caves and so on that were inside it okay I'm going to stop back here for a moment drop these off just so that I can do what I'm going to do I guess I have to drop off a couple of more of them. All right. Well, let's drop off another one. I just have to remember to stop back here and pick it up. No, I didn't want to come over here. Pardon me, my brain isn't entirely with it right now. Uh, let's see. Okay, now I have to pause for a moment. I'll be right back. All right. Yeah, I had to check on some spelling. It wouldn't do to spell things wrong. Thank you for your donation, sir. It is most appreciated. And now, to oh yes, the stairwell is over here. Take a brief detour. And remember, save the mob grinder. Alright. I'm going to stop back to the station and pick up the stuff that I left there and get down to the gunpowder storage and make up some TNT and I will catch you there. Alright. I've just finished up making up the next batch of TNT. And that is another 12 stacks, which brings my total TNT investment in this project up to 47 stacks. 
assuming it takes all of this to do the job, which, the way things are looking, it might, uh, as surprising as that may sound. And I'm going to pick up the wood that I just accidentally dropped, and then I'm going to head back out to the construction site and we'll meet you there for a grand tour of the devastation. All right, here we are. We're back. And as you can see, there has been a lot of changes. Where there once was a grass and tree covered mountain, there's now little more than rubble. And I'm going up here to get a decent view. See, there's not only that. See, I exposed a cave system within the mountain with my blasting. The cave system is a lot more open air now. And here is the rest of this area in this quarter of the of the region. That's right there is about the only grass for about 30 or 40 blocks. And I will be taking care of that fairly soon. The rest of this area that the last time you saw it was hills and plains and grass and all that good stuff. You see there's the end of the little extension I made to my diagonal pathway and it doesn't connect to anything anymore because the hillside it was connected to has been blasted away. You look around here and throughout most of this area here you won't find any grass. As a matter of fact, you'll find damn little dirt. I have very thoroughly denuded the place of all grass. I admit that there is still some to take care of. There is the occasional little strip of grass that was between the blasting lanes as I was blasting over that way because I had my blasting lines just a little bit too far apart but you come over this way this was all grass that hill was something of a mountain covered with grass and what's left of it Not much. Yeah, there's little patches here and there. Very little patches. And they're all isolated by a considerable amount of stone between each one. And now, I don't think grass will be a problem there ever again. There is a little bit of, uh, like I said, lines of material between the blasting lanes from the bombing run. But it's precious little, really. And right here, it may look like there's an awful lot up there, but we're actually very close to the uh, border. And so, I'm going to continue working on that. That's what this new batch of TNT is for. As I have been very blast happy
blasting away at everything green that I could find, leaving the place a barren wasteland of stone and a little bit of gravel. And in all of this, this tower has begun to produce. This chest here is what I've collected from the tower. And yes, squids are spawning up there too. Let's see. Anything going on now? No. In all this clearing of grass, I have gone from almost no activity at all to occasional activity. And yes, I have gotten some gunpowder out of it. I figured out that the reason for that, though, is that creepers and such were spawning on top of the thing and managing to fall into the incomplete, the the hole in the incompleted roof. So I went up there and I plugged the hole with dirt and then I put laid down a pattern of torches up there to keep the light level high enough that nothing will spawn on top of it anymore. And that's about the size of it. I'm going to be continuing my blasting and shoveling and basically getting rid of the dirt. Down here I tried a different tactic. Over here there was a small frozen over pond area sort of. So I took this area right here from right here all the way down here and I dug it down to where it was one block below the surface of the ice. Then I started breaking the ice and flowing water and I flooded this whole thing. It has since frozen over of course most of it. But I was exploring that as an option. And there are areas in this place that I probably will attempt to flood. But most of it is sufficiently high up that it would take a prohibitive amount of digging to bring it down to sea level or below or specifically one block below sea level so that it could be flooded. Oh, so that's about the size of it right there. 1.8 is approaching fast, although not as fast as we had once thought. We were expecting the 8th to be the release date for 1.8 and that has been pushed off at least until next week which gives a little bit of more time for preparation for whatever you're going to do with 1.8 that's a good thing because this thing isn't even ready to just be declared a finished project but then again, neither is the mansion. Of course, I don't expect the mansion to be finished for quite some time. This is going to be one of those things that I'll be working on on and off for quite some while. And so, I guess along with everybody else, I need to make some preparations for what I'm going to do for 1.8. And basically in my case that is going to be building a rail coming off track 3 on the big station I believe. And that track will head east out across the 
rather large body of water in front of the main base into an area of unexplored, uncreated, ungenerated chunks that have been out that way. It's fairly close to the main base. I have deliberately, ever since I knew about 1.8 coming out and all the changes and so on, I made it a point to stay well away from that area so that I wouldn't generate any new chunks over there. And so that's where I'll be going. And now I'm going to quit dancing around here and wandering back and forth aimlessly and I'm going to grab up some TNT and some dirt and I'm going to go back to blasting more and more of the dirt and see if we can't get the production level up a little bit here and I'll do that for a little while and then I'm going to head back over to the main base and get ready to start construction on a rail or two actually and I'll catch up with you in a little bit yeah, and I'm back and uh, this is a little bit unconventional but I had originally recorded this with commentary as usual however at the time I did not realize that the good microphone was not plugged in and so the sound came out really really bad and so I'm going ahead with the same video footage sped up and I'm just doing the commentary an overlay on the speed up. Basically what I'm doing here is building a track from the station over to the mining base and uh, something that I had intended to do for some time and I'm finally getting around to doing it and also going to be getting ready to build another track from track 3 and I'm going to start it out headed eastward and I'm going to stop when it gets to where it's over the beach in front of the main base and their construction on that track will pause until a uh, 1.8 comes out in the meantime I'm just concentrating on getting this track built to the mining base I've been meaning to do it for a while like I said it's a matter of convenience to be able to get over there quicker because I keep a lot of resources over there and uh, so on and otherwise as for my the rest of my 1.8 plans basically that's about it I'm going to when 1.8 comes out gather the materials and build a long track headed eastward into the sunrise and that will take me across a fairly large body of water and a small bit of land that shows on my world map and beyond that I will enter into ungenerated chunks and we will get to see some new 1.8 generated material and we'll go from there depending on what we find I'm hoping that I'll find some kind of a NPC village or something fairly soon I realize that with 1.8 the NPC villages will not be populated yet that won't happen until 1.9 and I'm hoping that NPC villages generated in 1.8 will populate when 1.9 comes up but if they don't that's all right because I can always extend the track farther out I'm only going far enough into 1.8 territory to actually be able to see the 1.8 stuff some of it I'm not going to go very far because of the fact that 1.9 will be following well I was gonna say soon after but honestly nobody really knows I would assume within a week or two and uh, that's about the size of that 
the passive mob system that I've been building. I'm going to continue working on that, mostly off camera, and uh, continue clearing grass and until the thing is actually producing material at a reasonable pace. It's a big job because it's a very large area to remove grass from. Uh, as I said earlier in this video, I had uh, used about 35 stacks of TNT and had generated enough TNT to have a grand total of 42, I believe it was, or 47. 47, that's what it was. And since that part of this video was recorded, I have used another four stacks of that. And I am anticipating that the use of TNT on that project is going to reach somewhere in the neighborhood of 50, maybe 60 stacks of TNT. Quite a lot, I know, but it's worthwhile, and frankly, using it all has been quite entertaining. Coming up with interesting ways to see how much I can set off at once, and how much ground I can destroy at once. And that area does look very much like it's the surface of an alien world of some kind. I'm curious, what about 1.8 are you looking forward to? Is it the Endermen, the NPC villages, the strongholds and ravines and other such things and in the new stuff in the terrain. Uh, one of the things I'm looking forward to is the fact that clouds aren't going to go through buildings anymore. I found that to be quite annoying when constructing tall things like the mob tower. Either the uh, one I'm working on now or the original one that you see in the background around here some. And partly because of 1.8 not exactly being 100% complete. Uh, while I do want to spend a lot of time checking out the new stuff and having a look at the new terrain and the new mobs and so on, I am also wanting to have easy access back here to the existing stuff because there's a lot of projects that I'm working on that are in various stages of not finished. I know I have a bad habit of starting projects and then getting distracted and do, going on to some other project. And therefore things take a lot longer than I suppose they should, but that's the way of it. So while I am very interested in what 1.8 has to offer, there's a lot in this existing part of the world that I still want to continue working on. I have several branch mines that are very promising. They're paying off very nicely. There are several construction projects to work on. The mansion, of course, is going to need tweaking and building and finishing for... Even after it's finished, it's going to need a lot of work on it for a long time to come, I think. But, of course, there is the matter of getting it finished, and that's going to require getting that passive mob system working reasonably well so that I can come up with a decent amount of wool dyed from the sheep before it's sheared without having to chase them all over the landscape. And here's hoping that 1.8 doesn't make that obsolete. Anyway, in the meantime, there's looking forward to 1.8. We'll be building that track coming up very soon. Take it easy. I'm out of here.